Good morning. Today we are here at Dollar Tree. We're going to go in and check out some of the food items that everybody should probably be stocking up on before the prices go up. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Dollar Tree here, we got the Del Monte $1.25. Looks like some of these prices are still $1.25. Not sure if they're going to be going up at this particular Dollar Tree, but we have heard rumors of some price increases coming so we'll, we'll just have to see they got green giant over there dollar 25. well they got their tender green asparagus back in here i know a couple people on the channel that like these haven't seen these at our dollar tree here in a while got the pitted kalamata olives here so just keep in mind if i notice any price increases on anything over a dollar 25 i will point that out I did kind of look over this aisle some. Looks like everything is still $1.25. Got the Kraft Classic Ranch here, eight ounces. Now, if you're not gonna use much anyway, this really, this is still a good deal because these are, for 16 ounces at Kroger, regular price, $3.49. This is eight ounces, so if you bought two of these, it'd be the same thing for $2.50. They do have some other varieties here as well. They got the Zesty Italian. I like the Italian. I've gotten this one here from Dollar Tree. I still got a little left in the fridge. Never tried the Thousand Island of Craft. Again, got the uh, Pampa Zesty Italian. Zesty Italian. Not sure about that one. Again, anything you like here at Dollar Tree, let us know down in the comments. Got the Bullseye Everyday Original Barbecue Sauce. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, look. They do have the Craft Original, but they don't have the bourbon or the uh, brown sugar one. Oh, look at this. $1.75 now for these one and a half liter Pepsis. Now these, I believe, had gone up to $1.50 a little while ago, but now $1.75. Mm, that is a, that's a price increase. While I was down at the end of the aisle here, I, uh, there were a couple viewers that wanted me to check some of the different pet food, different snacks. Not sure if any of these have gone up or not. I gotta say, I haven't seen these here at Dollar Tree in a long time, but there's nothing that says it's a different price. We've been hearing that Dollar Tree was gonna start mixing in uh, more expensive items. One of them was pet food, that uh, little bags of pet food would actually be more. Some people were saying $3. Looks like everything here is still $1.25, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. They may not have put stickers up for it yet either. Now, whether the prices go up on a lot of these different things or not, this is a fan favorite on the channel here, this Pepper Peach Jam by Miss Miller's. Tiny here, but $1.25, I guess you can't ask for too much. But wanted to say, you know, you may want to go ahead and get to Dollar Tree, start stocking up on some of the things that you like anyway, because, you know, who knows? Uh, there were some people saying some of these prices may go up to $1.50. Not really sure if this one will, but I will keep you guys informed on that. They got the little mayos here, Kraft Mayo and Miracle Whip. Oh, wait, maybe just a Miracle Whip. They do sell Kraft in that size, too, though. $1.25 for those right now. I know a lot of people that like buying these up, put them in your pantry, preps, whatever you like to call it. They got the small things of Hunt's Ketchup there, still $1.25. Apple cider vinegar here been getting a lot of comments on grape jam and uh, jellies kind of flying out the door so um, Dollar Tree is another option here Pampa I've never tried the Pampa fruit spread so again anything that you like from Dollar Tree make sure you let us know down in the comments I will try and point them out as I come across you know we've gotten a lot of people who on the channel who haven't cared for this peanut butter I you know I haven't gotten it in a while but I liked it. I thought it was okay. The honey was really good. The crunchy. I don't think I've ever had just the regular creamy here. We got the raspberry preserve zone. I gotta say, these are fantastic. And if anything was gonna go up on food, I would assume that this would. This is a pretty good deal for $1.25, but knock on wood, hopefully that doesn't happen. I was wondering if I would see a recall notice on the Supreme Tradition ground cinnamon. There's a lot of issues with ground cinnamon lately with heavy amounts of lead in them, so make sure you check FDA's website, um, you know, to see which ones are affected. I know Supreme Tradition was one of them. Uh, voluntary recall is being issued for Supreme Tradition ground cinnamon due to potential elevated lead levels. So I'm glad to see they have a notice on this. Uh, we have tried, we have had a lot of different spices from Dollar Tree over the years. As a matter of fact, we still have a lot in our cupboard here. We got some Italian seasoning. 
We got the garlic pepper seasoning here. We've tried this one, garlic salt. Had plenty of this one. It looks like they got a little uh, taco section here. It's kind of cool. I like how they do set this stuff up. We got some of the different Goya beans down here. These have been going up in some stores in price. Cheapest place to get them is Dollar Tree here, at least for now. Hopefully, I can't imagine all of these items, even if they go up to $1.50. I, I really feel like that would hurt Dollar Tree's business, so especially around here. I don't know, but a lot of interesting items here. Spicy seasoned beef crumbles. Hmm. Oh, I've never tried these. Let's see. Best diffused by date. 7 of 2024. Don't have too long on that. July of 2024. Well, this is interesting. So they only have the pears. But this is Del Monte. These are like $2.59 everywhere else. $2.59. It says $1.25 on the shelf. I don't know. I guess we'll have to kind of watch out for it. I never see canned Del Monte fruits here at Dollar Tree. So we'll have to keep an eye on this stuff. Got some more uh, vegetables over here. They got the sliced beets. Somebody was actually just asking about this one. Not Del Monte, but never tried the Del Monte sliced beets. But I'm sure they're good cheap place to get sardines too and this is chicken of the sea some people were saying that these were shrink flated i don't know they've been this size uh at least for a while i mean they might have been actually this is the one somebody asked about a while back the one in mustard sauce by chicken chicken of the sea dollar 25 now again i do encourage everybody who shops at dollar tree on a regular basis to get here and get some of these products you love just in case they do go up in price now this might just be me, but they can just keep this. They can keep that on the shelf. As a matter of fact, they should sell that for like 50 cents. I don't know. I'm not a fan of Southgate chili. Uh, never tried the beef stew though. Never tried the beef stew, just the chili. Um, they got their bigger cans. Uh, still a good deal on this. Chicken with rice, chicken noodle. These are bigger cans, 25% bigger on the chicken noodle, 30% bigger on the chicken with rice. Um, yeah. $1.25 still, and they got the Kitchen Classics here, which I think we can still find these at Dollar General for a dollar. So it might be a little bit of a better deal there. To me, I quit buying them. I used to stock up on these, and I quit buying them because they, they just don't taste the same anymore. These used to be great. I don't know, I've, and I've given them a few different chances after that third strike, and they were out. Things like these chow mein and yakisobas and stuff like this, though, would be a good idea to stock up on some of these if you like these if you like them if you're going to eat them pointless to stock up on them if you're not going to eat them but these are pretty much a dollar fifty to almost two dollars pretty much everywhere else so i don't know good idea get here soon these sell out pretty quick too they do have some rice here they got their omega rice still a dollar 25 still a dollar 25 these are the kind of things that we were saying that dollar tree might get priced out on some of these and then we all all of a sudden we saw them shrink flate all of these different beans these all used to be 16 ounces uh less than a year ago they're all dollar 25 now still dollar 25 and all of them are 12 ounces somebody asked if i had seen any of the coconut flakes here at dollar tree lately yes yes um we did see where they were gone for the longest time but they are starting to come back in Got some of these other things here like betty crocker Pillsbury. You know, the more I look at some of these things, guys, I don't know. These things, that's why I say, you know, you might want to get here and buy up some of these things you like because some of these things I could see going up a little bit. We have seen like quick oats and old fashioned oats go up over the last year or so, but I don't know. I don't know. What are these? This is one pound, isn't it? Yeah, 16 ounces. I don't know. That's probably going to stay the same. Most of these kind of things are probably going to stay the same. I hope so. I hope so. They do have both of these. And Quick Oats seems to sell out pretty quick here at Dollar Tree. We've got a lot of good comments on these. What I like about it is that it has that extra seal here. It's got that zipper thing where you can just zip that shut to keep it fresh. Hey, somebody was asking about this Hungry Jack here. Pancake and waffle mix. Looks like they got this back in. Yeah good stuff right there i don't know somebody told me to try this pancake syrup one time and i got it i'll tell you what i was i was not a big fan but some people may like it here's that kent uh syrup caramel syrup that somebody was saying they haven't found at their dollar tree in a long time just saw this sit here they got the chocolate also they always have the chocolate but yeah you're right the caramel one here this this must be a hot seller 
all the different sweeteners here. They've got the equal sucralose and the saccharin. 50 packets for $1.25. I mean, this stuff has gone up like crazy over the last year. So I don't know. Might be a good time to stock up on those if you use them. And they have some of the modern pantry milks here. Still, you know what price. I don't know. If you like these, might be a might be a good time. This is good until January 30th, 2025. That is a long time. That's pretty good. Got the almond ones here too. Some of the Harry and David coffees down there. They got some coffee filters. Calafia Farms. Uh, evaporated milk there. Oh, we got some different creamers coming in here. The Ferrelli French Vanilla. We got the... Ooh, the Copper's Chocolate Dark Espresso Beans. Let me give you a little bit of advice for this. So these are good. I haven't seen them at Dollar Tree in a long time. Long time. So, I don't know. I guess they're coming back in. But only eat a couple of these. Don't eat like a handful or you will be, you will be going for a quick jog. So they were saying, I guess some candies are going to be going up. But they're supposed to be bigger bags. So we'll just have to check on that. I can't see these going up. And price but who knows who knows these days they got the sun kiss fruit snacks they got the granola bars here five bars what is that it's like an extra piece of tape on that oh, probably because it tore or something uh let's see what else we got down here we got the green tea green tea right there we got the all natural tea this is the yeah all natural 100 bags swiss miss hot chocolate if the weather where you are is like ours you never know it could be 70 one day and 30 the next always good to have some extra hot chocolate i always like getting some of these like little hot sauces and everything as a matter of fact i'm going to go ahead and buy an extra thing of heinz 57 uh sauce here i like this sauce i'm not a huge fan of it but i you know i like to have a little bit extra just in case i'm feeling it. it's good stuff it's good stuff but I like cooking with it too. And yeah, it's really good cooking it with chicken. It does add a little bit of heat to it. I got the Bell's olives down there. I got the bread and butter pickles. Uh, Breckenridge here. Somebody said these were really good. I've never actually tried these. I've tried the dill ones. Those were good. Never tried the bread and butter. That was a Meyer one time. That's where my favorite bread and butter pickles are. Someone said that these are really good too. Not much on canned tomatoes here. All I see is red gold. But, um, the petite diced here, $1.25, four cents cheaper than Kroger, but you really do gotta watch some of these things because you know you'll find sales at Kroger where you get a much better deal than this. Look at this. Got my garlic and herb. Dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five. Gonna have to I mean I have some of these in stock, but definitely gonna buy up a couple more of these because I don't know. We've seen these for a dollar fifty in a lot of places. So if these prices do go up, this this will probably be one of the items that does. Looks like they got the breadcrumbs back in. Somebody was asking about this a little while ago. You get a lot here. This is 13 ounces for you know what price. So, yeah, not bad. Gotten good comments on this one over the years. I'm not sure we've ever gotten one good comment on the Savvy Fair, Savvy Fair uh, rice packets here. I don't know. I've never tried this one. I've tried the other one, the Regal. It was okay. It was okay. The Jasmine was all right. They got the Nora rice and pasta sides, $1.25. These are pretty much $1.40 everywhere else. I mean, you might find them for like $1.35. I think it's $1.35 at Walmart. Regular price. Not really sure. It's been a while since I've checked there. Still $1.25 here, though, unless you can find it on sale. And we have more stuff. See, that's the thing. Like, they're really spreading this stuff out, too. This is a whole other aisle of these Jockey Soba and, like, you know, ramen noodles and stuff. They do still sell the Kreider chicken here, which I know we have a lot of fans of the on the channel of this. Still $1.25. Um, it's the smaller can, but still, that's a pretty okay price. Got some different tuna here. We all know the price. And more Goya beans. But you're not going to have as many options as you do at other places. But they've got the ones that are most commented on the channel here. they got the red beans in, uh, the garbanzos, the black beans. They still got the tuna packets in here, Brunswick, $1.25, same as Bumblebee, they're actually made by Bumblebee, made by Bumblebee there, see, same exact thing, same size, three ounces, tastes exactly the same, but it's half the price here than pretty much any of the Bumblebee in any store I've seen. As a matter of fact, the cheapest I've seen, the Bumblebee ones lately, unless on sale, $2.59, so you can get two of these for the price of one of the Bumblebee, same exact thing. Well, they've got the Pampera, Pampera, Pampa mackerel here and the Pampa sardines. 
Got ones in tomato sauce here, and then we've got ones in brine. Got some other options here. The Libby's Mandarin Oranges. These are actually okay. Uh, Pampa Sliced Peaches. Never tried those, but see, they have an extra. This is on the opposite aisle. They're even putting more stuff here. So they really are spreading out a lot of stuff. We saw, not the last time we were here, but like the last few times before that, a lot of this was empty. And you know what I just noticed here? They don't have ramen like the uh, Nissan brand. Like the regular ramen? I'll, I mean, we saw this the last time we were here. We actually mentioned we were wondering if they were fizzling the other one out. I mean, this is the same as the other ramen they had, this five pack for $1.25. Same thing, $1.25. Don't know though, that is a different company. I was checking the back of it here just to make sure. It does looks like it, it looks like it comes out of Albany, Albany Farms Incorporated, Bell Forge, San Diego, made in the USA. So I will say these croutons are pretty good. And another thing I like about these croutons, they have the zipper thing on them. They got the little, well, not a zipper, but it's got the little squeeze, keep it fresh thing. But yeah, try these, the garlic ones. They're really good. $1.25, can't beat that price. Now here's something I haven't seen at Dollar Tree in a long time. This is the balsamic alavetti. Uh, artificially flavored, so you're not getting the, you know, full-on real stuff here. So, I don't know. I don't know. Some people have asked about this before. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen this here. They've got their pasta back in. Well, they had like one box the last time I was here. But this stuff is a hot seller. I mean, you get 25% more. This is 20 ounces. Most places you get 16 ounces. Some even 12 ounces. Columbia, though, pretty decent spaghetti. $1.25. Get a lot extra. Some other different single packs of macaroni and cheese there and look at this they got their english muffins in man i haven't seen these gold metal bakery i know somebody on the channel really likes these yeah get six of them dollar 25 it's a good deal they're also getting their mother's maid back in the different pie fillings here they only had one can last time i was here and it was the apple one can of apple they got the cherry i know that's the fan favorite there they've got some of the different like graham cracker crust thingy here for pie and they've got uh i got some loaves of bread here this is a hot seller here too i don't know I, i've never tried dollar tree bread let me know down in the comments if you have this is the whole wheat and here's this superior iodized salt okay dollar 25 for that but you know what i mean i'm just glad to see they have it in so i had to check here they moved the sugar but they do have the one pound boxes of sugar, like regular sugar, granulated sugar. Um, yeah, haven't seen that at any of our Dollar Trees in a while. It's always usually the confectioner sugar, which I don't see any of that, but they got the light brown in too. Now they got their apple snacks, cinnamon, apple sauce. Now we're staying away from all of this stuff until all of the cinnamon thing recalls and all that stuff clears. So, I mean, regular applesauce. I don't see the regular. All they have is the cinnamon. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've never had the cinnamon. I've had the regular. The regular's good. Regular's good. They got this lucky leaf here. Unsweetened applesauce. 100% vitamin C. Yeah, you got these little mandarin pampa peaches in a cup. In light syrup. Looks like they're getting cleared out on a lot of different hand soaps. Uh, guys, the word is out. The word is out on the whole Dollar Tree thing. I think there's a lot of confusion going on with it. Um, they basically came out and said their new cap's gonna be $7, which there's been rumors and things going around that prices are gonna be getting mixed in, which that's not a rumor, that came from that came from them. Things are gonna get mixed in, higher price shampoos, stuff like that. Still have the single bar soaps for $1.25. I got Dial in, that's, Hey, they got Dove too. Yeah, didn't have either one of those last time I was here. Okay, so at this particular Dollar Tree, it does look like they've only got like one full aisle, maybe a couple in caps of prices that are higher on things. Um, yeah, like these different little totes and everything like this for five dollars. Uh, you know, it's really hard to say whether that's a value or not. When I get the big ones that stack very nicely, the huge ones at Sam's Club for a little less than ten dollars. But you know, these are nice. I do have to say, some of these items, though, for $5 are pretty nice, like these big potter plant things, big pots. Got these little, like, tables maybe put outside for a little, 
little table and chair deal. Something you don't want to put too big. Got some boxes here. Let's see, we got this. What is this? Black and Decker. Oh, it's one of those, uh, yeah, three arm revolving sprinklers. Five dollars for that? I don't feel like that's too bad of a deal. And they got some other Black and Decker. I've always liked Black and Decker products. You know, at least they used to be. They used to be really good. Some little garden tools there. Those are three dollars right here. Three dollars. I don't know. Got some nice grips on them anyway. We got this fun little, like a hedgehog. So I've got a frog. Different little uh, solar lights, I guess. Are these solar? Let's see. Yep, solar. Be kind of weird. You have to turn around all the time, probably. To it's, get, it's at a weird angle. It's like angling down. So you'd have to put that in the right spot, or it ain't gonna light up. And they've got this 15 bulb set here for five dollars. I don't feel like this is bad if you're looking for like some like outside party lights or something. Got the uh, I don't know though, you really do gotta like look around for stuff like this though, because sometimes you find this stuff cheaper at Walmart or the same price and it'd be a lot more bulbs. Got these little lanterns here with the battery operated candles, pretty cool. Got these storage cubes for three dollars. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Here's one that's... Oh, this one's five for whatever reason. Oh, it's not really a cube. Actually, I think that's better for $3. Look, they're using the big ones to store the $3 ones. That's hilarious. Uh, let's see. We got these little... One of these little animals here for three bucks. Three dollars for these? That's not bad. That's not a bad deal at all. Oh, I just noticed they're not $3. They're five dollars. Five dollar plush toys. Yep, they're on, and this is this is what I fear we're going to have to do a lot more at Dollar Tree, is we're going to have to seek out and look at the actual price on the product. Because if you see here, $3, which obviously that's for the pants now, and this $3, I guess that's for those. But you see what I'm saying? Like, I thought these were $3 because it's in between both things that say $3. So even $5, I feel, for these is a pretty good deal. But, yeah, we're going to have to... Be a little more aware these days at Dollar Tree of the prices. Now this is one thing that's gone up. Reading glasses and these sunglasses have gone up to a dollar fifty. So these are no longer a dollar twenty-five. Dollar fifty for these. Still, gotta say it's still a pretty decent deal. Someone asked if I'd seen any Reynolds wrap at Dollar Tree. You know, the last time I was here, I checked on Reynolds wrap. Yes, they do have it. But as I do understand, a lot of Dollar Trees have been having trouble getting it in because we did get a lot a few comments the last time when we pointed it out here um, but yeah they're definitely getting it in here and they do have Reynolds wrap right here still in the box okay so I wanted to check out some of these drinks over here make sure they were still a dollar 25 I don't know I kind of thought if something went up maybe Old Orchard might have or Sunny D but at least for now, they're still $1.25, and Powerade's still $1.25. They got the giant Arizona tea bottle, still $1.25 for these two. I am noticing a lot more things like this, where they have like $1.25 like poster things on certain boxes. If we look over here, they have them on here too. So I don't know. I've never seen where they've put this stuff on boxes before. So it is a bit concerning, again, I encourage everybody if you've got a lot of products that you like at Dollar Tree that you have any thought that it might go up in price I'd start stocking up on some of these okay so one of the items that they did mention in the article that I read was mixing in different bags of candy they said bigger bags of candy kind of took like a quick look here and I haven't seen anything yet so I don't know maybe they haven't moved this stuff in yet so We'll have to stay tuned for that one, I guess. The issue with it was that they were going to be mixing these things in with all of the other candy. So I hope that they would at least spread it out and put stickers everywhere, letting you know which ones are going to be more expensive, rather than just mixing these in and having to take a guess at it. Well, that was our trip to Dollar Tree. Uh, I did ask a lady in there who works here. She didn't know anything about a dollar fifty raise in prices at least at this dollar tree so at least for now the, most of the items that we looked at a lot of the different food items and everything are still a dollar 25 however been hearing rumors from a lot of different play a lot of people on the channel 
that have been hearing rumors, I guess, that prices are going to be going, a lot of things may go up to $1.50 here at some point. Now they're talking about mixing items in. That's going to be difficult for a place like Dollar Tree. I did do a video on this where I, I talk a lot about how Dollar Tree made a mistake, I feel, in this because I think they're going to lose a lot of business because the first time somebody goes up to the register and they've got multiple items that are three, four dollars when it's not clearly marked, not saying it won't be, but you start mixing items like that of a store that traditionally has never had to do that. I see a lot of problems maybe at the beginning, but either way, we have thousands and thousands of viewers on the channel that shop at Dollar Tree, uh, people who stock up their pantry with items from Dollar Tree. So that being said, I do encourage you to start stocking up on some of these so we don't get caught off guard. Honestly, I don't think that they would really disclose that information until the store was just set to do it. Either that or they're just not allowed to tell people, which I could see that too. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out.